All right, so recently I've been working on leveling my fisher. I finally capped it through ocean fishing and I had to go back and do all of the quests for fishing. I decided later on that I wanted to get the mount and get some of the achievements with ocean fishing. So now I need to go and do all of the class quests to unlock some skills that are pretty important for getting a high score in ocean fishing and later fishing in general. What I realized is that because most people get all of their levels through ocean fishing, a lot of demand is placed on the fish that are required for class quests. And that means up until about level 50 or 60, you're able to sell any of the quest required fish. Now, if you're already going out there to get the fish for your quest, you may as well catch a few more. So here we have a list of all of the market sellable fish for fisher quests and where to get them. I'm gonna tell you up front, it's not that effective. <laughs> But if you're looking for some new ideas, welcome to Making Gill for Dumb Bitches, Episode 3. So you start with the Laments and Anchovy. It's probably the easiest one to catch. This is also probably the one that's going to do the most turnover. Next, we have the Harbor Herring. Once again, this one can still be caught. And Limsa Laminsa. Princess Trout gets a little more complicated. This is probably one that sells a little more often because people don't want to have to leave Limsa. Uh, but it turns out you can already buy this from the culinarian supplier. So this would be another opportunity where, with what we learned in our last video, you could purchase this at a very low price without even needing fishing and sell it. Next we have the Navigator's Dagger. Again, simple. Most of the early ones are based in Lonesca. If you wanted to find a more optimal path or route to get these, you could do so. But I've found that for the sheer like mental load of trying to schedule a big fishing route, it's not necessarily worth it because the market's going to change by the time you have all of the fish. Coming in at the about halfway mark, you have Shadow Catfish. This is one of the first fish that requires mooching. You'd have to catch a striped goby at the same spot first, that is large, and then mooch it using it as bait for the shadow catfish. Now the full moon sardine is our next fish. It's one of the first ones that has a time frame on it. So you want to make sure that you are going in to catch this fish in between the hours of 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. Otherwise you won't be able to catch it. Keep in mind that most bait can be purchased at a junk monger. Some bait, not necessarily the ones on this list that you can't get at a junk monger, you should check to see if you can get it from a scrip exchange. Because if you've leveled through ocean fishing, you should have plenty of white scripts to turn in for bait. The rain collar is the first fish that has a weather condition. Just make sure it's raining when you go to get it. Generally, I just hang around New Gridania until it starts to rain but there certainly are options to see when the next rainfall is gonna be online. The cloud cutter is where we start going into Heavensward zones. So you would need Heavensward unlocked for this. Sea of Clouds is a Heavensward zone and so is Witch Drop. The Mazlaya Marlin is one of the more difficult fish to catch. It is worth it though, because this fish in particular on my server tends to sell for quite a bit more. And it doesn't have any weather or time conditions. So other than needing a mooch, it's pretty easy to go get if you're willing to be patient and actually use fishing skills for it. The letter puffer is another one that's in Heavensward zones. So make sure you have Heavensward unlocked. And the cat killer is going to be our last market sellable fish in the quest required turn ins. So this one is also in Heavensward. Make sure you have it unlocked. 
and you do need to mooch and it does have weather conditions but no time condition so just make sure you've got the right setting check on the top right of your screen for the weather conditions if you mouse over the map there's a little circle on the right that has a sun or a moon or a cloud in it depending on the weather conditions if you just hover your mouse over it that will tell you the weather conditions that you're currently experiencing all right so that is a semi scuffed list of all of the fish that are market sellable that are also required for fishing quest turn ins I hope that you are able to make some gill offer to this. If you like fishing, this would be a good side business. None of these sell for like a ton of money. They're not that profitable, but if it's something you enjoy doing and if you're already getting the quests for your fisher, it is definitely worth picking up a couple extra while you're in the area and have maybe the correct weather or time conditions or the correct bait on you to catch some of these and sell them on the market board. Now, if you do really like fishing, there are more valuable fish through big fishing and some rarer fish. But I can tell you now that big fishing is only pain and suffering and tears because you will not catch the fish you need. RNG is not on your side. God has left you and nothing is left. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I know it's a short one. The markets have been kind of unstable on my server recently, so some of the projects I've been working on have a little bit more research involved and take a little bit longer to make sure that it's correct. But in the meantime, please enjoy this. I hope it's useful. Even if you just need to catch the fish for the quest, this guide should help. And thanks for watching. Bye!